Mr. James Simmington, and Miss Eva Bella. <laughs> oh, and the dog. <laughs> oh, there you go. <laughs> Just pick up the rat from the floor like we do. Um, and how long have you um, been working with James? How long have you guys worked together? Less than a year. A year, yeah. wow. And how did you guys find each other? Uh, well, my agent, Melissa, she actually found him. Then we met with him at a coffee shop, and then that was it. And that was it. That love was it, history. Love it first sight. So we, tell me, okay, now when you got the Frozen job, did you realize, like, wait, this is a Disney princess? Like, <laughs> yeah, that would have been my, I think that would have been my exact response, a giggle. I, I don't think I, yeah, I don't even think I had a response. I think I just laughed a little. Just you like, were like, <laughs> I'm going to be a Disney princess. That's so crazy. And when you did the, um, the job itself, when you went into the booth and recorded, did you record with the other actors or did you do it separately? No, I actually didn't um, do it with other actors, but... Um, Josh Gad, who was Olaf, d was doing a recording session, uh, the one before me, so I got to meet with him, talked with him for a while, and then we went to the booth, and there was one time when we were, when we were playing with the ice at the beginning of the movie, and when Anna's jumping on the snow, they had, they really wanted me to have like a huge laugh. So the two directors were in the room with me and they had a dance off. So <laughs> that made me laugh funny. <laughs> and I was wondering if you could recite some of your lines from Frozen so I could hear oh that. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Do you have a, fa a favorite line from Frozen? I have a few. You have a few? <laughs> All right. Go away, Anna. <laughs> <laughs> You sound just like Elsa from Frozen. I do? That's amazing. What's another one of your favorite lines? Um, Hi, I'm Olaf, and I like warm hugs. <laughs> What's it been like afterwards? Uh, well, I've been actually been able to do some really cool stuff. Just uh, a few weeks ago, I went to a lemonade stand. Um, I don't know if any of you have heard of Alex's Lemonade Stand. And it's a really nice charity place. and. You sell lemonade, and so I did one of those a few weeks ago, and I was able to actually go to school for career day with my voiceover coach and a few other kids, and we were there career day, and it was really nice just to be able to explain things and give back to them, and I've been to some really cool events at the children's place, and I've got a shot, so nice. that was pretty fun, and yeah. A lot of um, a lot of your work has been voiceover work, right? You've done. Mm -hmm. um, I have. I have actually a Nick Jr. show that's going to be coming out next year called Shimmer and Shine, and I'm going to be Shimmer, and it's about these two genie sisters who go to the human world to visit uh, their human friend Leah, and it teaches you that it's okay to make mistakes. There's some cute songs along the way. Oh, cool. And is it a, it's a movie for uh, Nick Jr. or it's a TV show? It's a show? TV show. Oh, nice. And what sort of characteristics do you look for in your clients that help them, you know, help them find you and also help them succeed in the business? You know, there's so many actors out there that try to be somebody else, and we can see that. And we don't actually, we don't respect that as much as what we want to see is we want to see who you are, what your personality is, what makes you special, what separates you from everybody else in the business. So. You know, there's like with Eva Bella, for example, you know, at one point they may be looking for, let's say, a, a, um, a Jessica Biel type, or they're looking for certain types. And that's nice, and sometimes if you actually can match a type, you can actually work, but you really can't set yourself apart. What I want is I want somebody who is Eva Bella. When Eva Bella comes to me, people don't know who Eva Bella is, but then people start to build you know, their image based around Eva Bella. But I want to see who you are and what you bring to the table, why you're unique, why you're special, and you don't try to be anybody but who you are. And that's what's going to separate you, and that's what's going to give you longevity of the career. Is when great. you started doing acting or voiceovers, like, how did you know you wanted to do that? Like, what made you interested in, like, that kind of thing? Great question. Well, actually, we used to live in Indiana, and um, my family's um, friend, that he his daughter actually did a commercial and we were watching a game and I saw I was like, oh, that seems pretty fun. So I asked my mom, I said, hey, can I try this out? And she was like, no. <laughs> and, and I was like, no, I'm being serious this time. I really want to do it. And so 
that's when we went to the boot camp. And, and I actually didn't know about voiceover until probably a year ago in January, because the, actually the first voiceover audition I did, I booked. It was, it was a movie called Snowflake the White Gorilla. It was just a, a short little mm -hmm. movie. And that's when I realized, I was like, hey, this seems pretty fun. This is fun. What, what's been your favorite of all the voiceovers? What's been the most fun? between Frozen and Shimmer and Shine. Yeah. I mean, in terms of, you know, a movie, it's Frozen, TV show. TV show, Shimmer and yeah, Shine. Yeah, Shimmer and Shine. Yeah. But I feel like they're both so magical, and they just, they're, t they're TV shows, and Frozen, does Frozen make you guys happy? I'm just wondering, because it's, I mean, it's a happy movie. It makes you feel good about yourself, and I don't know, they're fun. And girls, who doesn't like princesses? No. <laughs> exactly. They're, fun, they're, fun to, they're pretty fun to do for voiceovers. I was wondering, as a young actor in the business, what's the best piece of advice you have gotten so far? Well, definitely don't give up. Because, I mean, if you give up, you, but if you don't give up, that means you have to stay really passionate about it. And if you love it that much, you'll, you'll never let it go. And I've been able to keep it for four years. <laughs> and it's just, if you really enjoy it and you know what you want to do for the rest of your life and that's what you want to be when you grow up, then that's who you can be. Can we hear it please from Miss Eva Bella and James Simmington? Wow. I mean, fans. 